Watch well, you guys got another video on the eight best group policy settings for administrators. Now, if you want to lock down your system, then these are probably some of the best group policy settings you can use. So first off, what we need to do is open up the group policy editor. Now, if you're running Windows uh, 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro, group policy editor is enabled on that system. So type gpedit.msc uh, inside the run box, and this will open up the group policy editor. From here, the first thing we're going to disable is the actual control panel. And you need to go to this location you see on the screen here. And what we're going to do here is prohibit any access to the control panel and PC settings by enabling this feature here. So double click on it and you'll see there's some options available here. Enable, disable, not configured. And you can read the information on here. But if we enable this feature, it will stop people from accessing it via the explorer and also through the uh, settings panel and things like that so basically just enable this feature and it will stop them accessing uh, the settings panel and also control panel now if you're on a network with plenty of pcs you don't want to give them access to uh, the control panel or um, the actual settings panel because this is where they can make changes to the actual computer so what we'll do is we'll enable the, this one here and you can see the options here. So all we need to do is apply this and OK, and then we can restart the PC later on. And this will uh, set this uh, policy in place and stop those people from accessing those locations. Now, the next policy we want to set in place is to prevent any sort of access to the command prompt because people can do quite a bit of damage inside the command prompt. So we need to go to this location you see on the screen. And what we're going to do is uh, disable access to the command prompt. And you can also disable PowerShell as well and stop them getting access to those as well. So we'll go to this location here, use configuration, administrator templates and system. And inside here, you will be able to see a location where we can prevent uh, access uh, to the command prompt here. So let's just go ahead and enable this feature. We're going to put the uh, check mark in, uh, disable this command prompt script processing as well. So it says no, but we can change this to yes, and then leave it as enabled, and then apply an OK. And once we restart the PC, they won't have access to the command prompt. So this is an essential uh, one we need to do. So next up, we're going to be uh, disabling access uh, to all removable storage uh, devices that are plugged into the computer. So we need to go to the location you see on the screen there, which is user uh, configuration, administrative template system and removable uh, storage access. Once we go there, we should be able to deny all removable storage access by enabling that feature. And that will uh, turn that feature off to stop people from maybe transmitting a malware or virus to the computer and across the network. And next up, while we're in this location, we may as well uh, prohibit any sort of users from installing unwanted software onto the actual computer as well. And this can also cause problems. So we want to stop that from happening. So we need to prohibit users install policy on this uh, computer and of obviously on other computers across the network. So let's go ahead and go to the location here. That will be inside Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and then Windows Installer. Once we're there, you should see a list of items that we can uh, get access to and change. So we're looking for the prohibit uh, users from installing unwanted software. So let's go ahead and look on the right hand side here, and you should see here, uh, there's a list of stuff that we can uh, enable and disable. So there's a couple of ones that we can uh, do inside here. You can see prohibit users installs, and then you can go into this location here and you can set this up to whatever you like here. So you should be able to see enable and disable. You can read the information on the right hand side. Basically, there's a little drop down here. It says hide users from installs or hide users installs. And you can also uh, do some other settings inside here. There's also another one which you can do completely across the board here and block all installations. And I'll show you how to do that as well. 
So let's quickly uh, just select this option, apply this and OK. And again, once we restart the system or we can force the policy inside command prompt. But if we've disabled the command prompt, you won't be able to do it on this computer. So we will need to restart. So let's go ahead and quickly uh, do this one and then we can move on to the next uh, section. Click apply and OK. Now, the next one we want to take a look at here is the turn off Windows installer. And again, this is going to stop uh, from people from installing stuff on the computer. So you can either enable this feature and you can see here for non managed applications only, or you can do never or always. And if you read the information on the right hand pane here, it will tell you exactly what these mean, what never means, what always means and what uh, the other options mean. So you can just choose which option suits you. And then once you've got this set in place, you can apply this and OK, and uh, the person will not be able to install any sort of software on that system. And that's also essential because obviously you don't want them infecting that computer. And again, this can also spread across the network and infect other computers across the network. So it's important that we block that and take full control of what's installed and what's not installed on that system. So this next one we're going to do here is basically reinforce the guest account status uh, settings on this computer. And what we're going to do here is the built in guest account enables users to log into a Windows system without requiring a password for authentication. And this allows uh, bad people to obviously log into a system which will gain them access to the server. And we don't want to do that. So what we want to do is disable this. And uh, we can do that by going to this location on the screen here just to make sure uh, that we enforce the guest account has been disabled. So let's go ahead and navigate to Compute Configuration, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Local Policies, then Security Options. And then from there, we're going to configure the accounts, which is Guest Account uh, Status Policy. So if we look up the top here, you should see Accounts, colon, and then you should see Guest Account Status up the top here. And uh, what we need to do is we need to go in here and make sure that that is set to the correct uh, settings. And we're going to double click on this. You can see it's enabled and you can uh, disable this account. And again, you can read the information here on the explained part as well. So you can enable it or disable this and then read the uh, information here. And this will give you a full blow for blow of what it actually means and what it does. So if you look here, note if the guest account is disabled and the security options, network access sharing and security model for uh, local accounts, is set to guest only network logons such as those performed by the Microsoft Network Server SMB server. So basically, you can set this up how you like here, and you can enable that feature or disable it. And then once you've got this done, you can then go into the next uh, section and disable that if you want to. And then also, this will uh, make sure it's fully locked down and people can't uh, exploit that and use it. And you can see here the SMB service will fail. So you can set this up how you like. Now, while we're here, there's a second part to it, which is basically uh, computer configuration, Windows settings, uh, security settings, local policies, then security options. And you need to look for uh, do not store uh, LAN manager hash values on the next password changes. So basically, we can go in here and you can see there's an enable and disable feature. And if you look on the explain part, it will explain all of this for you. And you can uh, read here and basically choose what you want to set yours as. Now, while we're in this location here, we can go to audit policy here under the security settings. And you can see the audit section here. Now, you can set these up as well if you want to. And basically, this will audit any sort of system events or any sort of uh, policy changes or any logon events, whether it will be successful or failure of logon attempts, these will be uh, logged inside the audit section here. And you've got the directory of service access and a bunch of other things in here, account management and a bunch of other things, which can be useful for auditing, uh, making sure you keep tabs on everything here. So next up, what we can do here is we're going to go to the next location. So next up, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to prevent auto restart with logged on users during the scheduled update installations. And this is in computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, and then Windows update. 
and this will basically stop uh, windows from automatically restarting and this can be uh, really devastating for someone who has a load of tabs open with loads of work uh, documents open and windows will just shut down and reinstall uh, all of the updates while you're working so you want to set this up and there's a bunch of them inside here that you can configure you can see here turn off auto uh, restart for updates during active hours you can enable this feature and then all you need to do is put your active hours in here and the computer will not restart during that process of updates if you start it and end it at a certain time so 8 a.m to say 5 p.m if that's your work hours you can set this up to this sort of time zone and it won't restart and uh, you can set that up there there's the other one inside here as well specified active hours range and again once you put one of these policies on it sort of counteracts the other one really it doesn't work so you can set this up how you like there's a bunch of them in here choose which one suits you and again this will allow you to set a maximum range of hours uh, for yourself if you've got one set up the other one will, will not work so also you can see here allow updates uh, to be downloaded automatically and there's a bunch of other uh, ones on here you can set up um, the actual uh, uh, scheduled time here as well as you can see always automatically restart uh, for the scheduled time and you can set this up here as well and just read all the information but when you're going through some of these and you can set it up to your needs because everyone's needs are different and that's what you need to look at, read the information here and set this up but he'll say if you've got one of these enabled it will sort of counteract the other one so you don't need to do all of them just set the ones up you want to uh, set up on your system so basically these are some of the essential ones that you want to enable uh as an administrator uh, there is loads of other ones you can do as well if you like this sort of content let me know in the comments section below and i'll make some more videos on this if not then i will just skip this sort of topic and won't make any more videos on it but if you're interested then let me know in the comments section i'll be happy to read your comments so with that done i think that's going to be about it for this video my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i know your names are not going up on the screen and i'm not giving you a shout out that's because uh our house is getting decorated at the moment and i'm having to work from an hotel so that will resume again uh, very shortly anyway thanks again for watching and thanks for your continued support i shall catch you in the very next video bye for now